In this demonstration, we will generate a graphic line to represent the intersection between two surfaces. In this example, we have an existing ground, which is represented by our gray contours here. It's sloping from a higher elevation on top to a lower elevation on bottom, and our proposed design has a large cut at the top of the design and a fill at the bottom. So somewhere in the middle of our design here, we're going to have a location where we go from cut to fill, and that's going to be an intersection line or a daylight line. We're also going to have daylight around the edges where our cut slopes um, come out of the existing ground and where our fill slopes intersect the existing ground. We're going to generate a line to represent that location. To do that, we're going to go to Surface, Design Surface, and Generate Isopack Surface. And we're going to compare the existing with the proposed. And we're going to create an Isopack Surface, and I'm just going to name it Diff. What it'll do actually is it'll subtract the elevations of uh, existing from the elevations of proposed to generate this surface. So the surface will be uh, the value of cut will be negative, the value of fill will be positive, and the zero elevation mark will be the actual intersection of the two. On the staking tab, we're going to set our mode to all. That'll get all of our triangles, and we'll mark it to triangulate that surface. So when we hit apply, we'll see that surface gets created. And then all we need to do to get that line of intersection is to display the zero elevation contour. And to do that, we're going to use the pass through contours command, which is in the hydrology and hydraulics add-in. If you don't have that add-in, you can go to tools, application add-ins, and choose the hydrology and hydraulics add-in. Turn that on and it comes in under Evaluation, Hydrology, and Hydraulics, Pass-Through Contour. We'll pick our isopack surface there. When we hit Apply, we can key in, down the microstation, key in um, the elevation that we want. But before we do that, we're going to pick, uh, when it displays that contour, it's going to take the settings from the active microstation settings. Um, so we're going to change the level here and put our uh, our line that's generated on a level called daylight. Okay, we're going to hit apply and down in the microstation key in we're going to just type zero for the elevation we want that contour to be drawn out. We're going to hit the enter key and that line is generated. And we can see that right here anything above this line is a cut. Anything below this is going to be a fill. So that's our point where our cut becomes a fill.